Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, City Zillum. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. We are in the city of Crater Lake today, and we are, we're going to be doing a couple things this episode. I want to build out our little uh, tech headquarters that I've been talking about for a few episodes ago. I want to do something inspired by like a big tech company headquarters kind of in the city. And then I think we're going to start plopping down some uh, some growables. I ended up getting plopped the growables mod and I uh, got a couple things that I think are going to be really fun. And so let's go ahead and dive right in. And so the first thing I want to bring up is I plopped in a little Starbucks. I'd gotten a suggestion to do a Starbucks as uh, Starbucks are pretty much everywhere in the world now. And I got this little asset. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in my mod list on Steam so that you guys will be able to grab it. It's super nice. If you just do a quick Starbucks search within uh, Steam, though, it's, it's pretty easy to find. I like it. I think it fits in well with this surrounding as well. Um, I like the little wood paneling. And then I place down these uh, benches. And then um, I think it works well. And so I got a couple other growables that we are going to um, kind of pop around. I want to do maybe an Ikea. I think that would be cool. Uh, again, the same person who suggested that suggested to do the Ikea as well, which I think would be really fun. And so um, a couple other things I did, I placed these two piers here and this was a suggestion I got and I thought it was just really great. I kind of played around with it. I think it's a really good feature for this area. Um, it would just allow people to kind of come out here and view the water and, and just kind of have a good time. And then I kind of cleaned up a little bit of our edges too. I put some, uh, some tall grass right here just to kind of clean it up. Um, I think it looks good. And so I did get a suggestion for one of my loyal commenters, V5VV, talking about flood risk for this area. And it's something that I didn't really think about when um, building this out. And so I think what we're going to do is do a canal right here that is going to provide a little bit of relief if this area were to ever flood. I think because of the nature of this, though, we're not in too much of a risk just because it's going to kind of slant down. But I think by doing the canal, it's really going to provide some safety for this area, um, especially since we did the high rise residential and everything down here. We would want to kind of protect that. And I would imagine that the developers would be interested in doing so as well. And so what I'm thinking is we are going to jump over to this area today and I want to probably bring back this cliff a little bit. And I want to do probably the nanotechnology institute with uh, probably the semiconductor plant as well. And then maybe even the robotics institute, we might might roll them all into one. But then I want to do some water features and um, just kind of make it look cool, do some decorating. Um, really turn it into like a, a pretty cool complex. And so first thing we're going to do, we're going to jump into the level terrain tool. And I am just going to basically bring this out a little bit. Nothing too crazy, just enough for us to kind of fit in the buildings. Yeah, there we go. I just made it a little bit wider for us to um, be able to get the buildings in without them being a little too cramped. So what I want to do is jump into a road. I'm going to go to a four unit road and we are going to choose a road that's going to be like our main entrance for this area. And so I want to go like right here and we're probably going to go out as about this far. And so we'll come out sideways like this. And then what we'll do is we will just curve this guy in. Yeah, like right there and then just connect it up. I'm going to go back to a straight piece, go like that. I think that looks pretty good. And so the goal is for us to fit in the nanotechnology center in here. And I believe it's kind of a big building, a nanotechnology center. So I think if we go like maybe backed up to that cliff, it would be good. So let's see about putting in a road. Let's go ahead and turn off snapping so we can get a little better of an angle. So we'll go like right there and then let's see Let's go ahead and put this guy in. Let's turn back on snapping so we can get a nice 90 degree angle. So we'll go like that and then let's look at this building. So, yeah, you know what? I think that looks really good. I want to uh, line up this road though because I want to do a, a road going up the side too. This would just provide a little bit of access. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and bring these back just so that we can kind of clean this up and then I'm going to drop the height on them too. And so let's go ahead and clean up this cliff just a little bit. I don't want it to be jaggedy like that. I want it to be close to the building, but I don't want it to be right on it. And so now what we're going to do is something a little crazy. We're going to jump in here and we are going to turn this piece into an elevated piece. And then what we're going to do is jump into our terrain tool, wrong direction. We're going to go like that and we're going to choose a nice height. And anybody who's familiar with my building probably already knows what I'm going to do, but I want to do a water feature. I think it's just going to look really good for this area, especially surrounding this building. It's just going to be really cool to see. And so I want to come out a little far too, and then we're probably going to go right up to the cliff. I think that's going to look good. 
And so now I'm going to jump into a key wall and basically draw this around. I think what I'm going to do first though is actually grab all these nodes. And we are going to move this guy back just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and smoothen this guy out. And there we go. Perfect. And let's go ahead and see about putting in a key wall now. And so I want to do a key wall all the way around this first. So we'll probably come up here. Let's turn on anarchy. We'll go like right there. Come all the way around and connect it up. And then now I'm going to use move it to grab it all and bring it all to one height. So we're going to hold shift, hold all of the points, and then go ahead and hit that. And there you go. That actually looks pretty good. I do want to uh, lower this down though, just so that we don't uh, clip that road. I feel like that would be pretty bad. Let's actually um, get rid of that railing. All right, and there we go. And then I'm just going to use Surface Painter to paint all this in. I think that looks pretty good. And then I want to do probably some decorations and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the key wall around the outside as well. Okay, and there we go. Looks like we can now drop in some water. So let's jump into our water sources. Go over here, drop this guy down. And then we will drop it in there and let's go ahead and find a good level. So let's pause. We want to make sure that it is not overflowing. So I think right there is probably good. We'll unpause it and let it overflow a little bit. It's going to come over the edge over here just a little bit, but it ends up dissipating over time. So we'll go ahead and use Surface Painter to paint the rest of this in as well. I think we'll ended over there. And so now what I would like to do is go ahead and do some light decorations around the outside, probably just some small planters, nothing too crazy. All right, and here we go. I kind of went a little crazy. I got these um, new planters on the Steam Workshop. I'll go ahead and add them to my asset list on Steam. They're like hexagons and then triangles. I thought they would fit in really well with this, um, with this area, but then I just put in a little fence as well, just to kind of block off the promenade, almost like a big sidewalk area for people to walk and I think it just looks really good. I think this whole area came out really well. Um, go ahead and hit the like button if you like it. And then let's go ahead and jump into our next area. So I think what I want to do here is do the semiconductor plant. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like first. So I want to do this guy. And I'm thinking because this is a headquarters, they would also have some manufacturing plants. I would imagine that it would just make it a little easier if they had it all in one area. And so I think if we go ahead and create a nice little space for this, I think we will do um, a parking garage as well. And then I think we can also squeeze in the robotics center as well. So let's see first what this looks like. Are we like getting off on that edge? I mean, we're really close. Let's see if we can move this over. Yeah, like right there is actually not bad. Because I think what we'll do is um, probably extend our our walking area over here. So then let's see if we can fit in a parking garage next to this guy. Yeah, there we go. You know what, it actually uh, looks pretty good. I don't particularly like how close it is to this. I really wish we could have uh, gotten this a little better. I think maybe we can just extend the cliff out a little bit more because I think this kind of looks terrible like that. I don't want to leave that like that. So then we can also do a little walking area over here, especially, I mean, that would be the appeal of having this area would be the views. Um, but I think that looks good. And then I think we're going to end up doing some um, some office space too. And so I think we will do the robotics place. I think yeah, the robotics institute back here. So let's go ahead and go right there. And then what I'm thinking is we can do a big plaza or something right here. So let's jump in here. We're going to go into a path. And then we will, we will have this go back there. And let's go ahead and stretch it out. So I think what we'll do for this area is just do like a nice sitting garden. Um, I think it would just look really nice if we could get like a good, a nice place for people to come and have lunch, um, kind of enjoy themselves, relax maybe, especially at big tech companies like this, they tend to be really overworked. And so having an area for them to go and possibly relax, I think would be really nice. And so I think what we're going to do is um, kind of like a Asian inspired garden back here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I was kind of hoping for something that uh, looked a little cleaner, but I think it, it's along the same lines as what I was thinking. It just uh, didn't come out as good as I was hoping. I, I could paint it as a park area and that's really the main issue I'm having right here, but I think it looks good and that's really what it's all about. And so I think what we will do is we will choose this front section for some office space. 
because we can assume again it's a headquarters we would want um as many buildings as possible though i don't know if i'm going to do the it's i feel like the it buildings are a little too tall for this area um so i think we will just do regular office and then let's go ahead and figure out something to do over here maybe we'll just do a big park i think that could be interesting yeah, you know what? i think that looks good and then i'm just going to jump into bob and we are going to change the trees because I don't really want them to be these uh, standard trees. I would rather them be something just a little bit nicer. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks good and it actually fits in with our overall look over here as well. And so I think what we'll do is um, actually upgrade these to concrete so that it can kind of blend in with this. Because I think that looks really good. I like this whole kind of look over here. And so I do want to grab some foliage. I'm just going to clean up this area right here. I think that would be good. And then this is going to come in as office. Let's go ahead and finish this off. So I'm just going to copy this whole um, kind of walkway thing here around this as well. And there we go. I just basically copied the same thing as on the other side. I went ahead and put in a big planter back here too. And then I think we're just going to use some foliage and kind of fill in this backspace. I was, I was going to do a road back here, but uh, I felt like it just didn't fit in super well. Though you would definitely have a road. Like there's a warehouse entrance right there. And so... Maybe we'll come back and fix that, but I think for right now we're just going to put in some foliage and kind of see how it looks. And then what we'll do is um, jump into some some of these live oaks, just really big generic trees. They look good though. They help to kind of fill in the space. I think that looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and unpause it and let these um, offices grow in. We have a little bit of industrial demand, so I'm hoping they grow in quickly, but we'll kind of see. Um, we do need to do water real quick though. All right, water is down. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some electricity going. So I think if we just go from like right there to right there. Oh, oh did we destroy something for that? I, I don't really like that. I think that looks terrible. Um, Maybe if we can get some electricity another way. I think maybe we'll keep that for right now and then um we'll come back and fix that because I think that just looks terrible. But I think, um, I think this area came out pretty well. I, I really like it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that like button. I super appreciate it. And um, once these offices come in, we're going to finish decorating the back. I probably want to do a path back there and stuff. And so I do want to do some uh, low density commercial right here, though, just because I feel like this is a pretty well traveled route. And this would be a good place to have some shops and everything, especially near that headquarters. Um, so this would be somewhere that all these offices could go to or uh, anybody in the area. And then I think we will um, fill in the back with concrete as well once we get finished. We can actually do that real quick and kind of see what it looks like. So we still got a lot of work to do on this terrace, but what I want to do is um, jump down to the bottom. So I think that looks good. Well, um, and the, the commercial should grow in. It does look like we're still having a little bit of flooding issues over here. I wonder if we, looks like it's just a terrain issue. So if we jump in here, I mean, this should be level. So I'm guessing it's just from the rock. It should... Um, balance out over time but let's go ahead and check our water level water level just to make sure we're not too high over there oh we're good you can kind of see that line in the back it that should be good and so now what i want to do um while we're waiting for that to grow in let's go ahead and jump down to the bottom and we are going to need to delete actually you know what i think we can go through that so let's go ahead and grab a four unit road and we're going to come up like right here i'm going to turn on snapping we're gonna come out like right there and then what we're gonna do is jump into a parking road so we're gonna go parking and we're gonna get out of props we're gonna slide down this way until we get to our big parking lots and i'm just gonna do a really big parking lot real quick all right and there we go pretty sizable parking lot and so now what i want to do and this is kind of crazy we other than that starbucks we really haven't done anything like this but i uh, i really like the idea and so thank you so much for the suggestion i think it is just going to be fantastic and so we are going to plop down an ikea look at this guy he is a behemoth he even has this power line going through it um i don't know if that would be realistic though i feel like that would kind of be dangerous and so we're actually going to get rid of that power line and we will probably have this guy. It looks like he's going to be connected up right there. But we, uh, uh, I don't know what we're going to do here. Maybe we can have this come up here. Yeah, I mean, I think that's okay. Actually, you know what? We will um, delete this guy because I want to continue a row down. So let's uh, jump back in here. And I'm going to go to my 
big parking lot road, but I'm going to go to the drive road and we will come down the back. And the goal is to kind of segue into us being able to do some low density residential back here or uh, whatever else we need. And so I think if we go right there, we can then switch over to a two unit road. Yeah, there we go. And then what we can do is just uh, connect this guy up. I don't particularly like how close those uh, intersections are, but I think what we'll do is then clean this up just a little bit. I want this to be more at a straight angle. So like that looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and see about doing just a small little neighborhood right here. Yeah, there we go. You know what? That um that actually doesn't look terrible. It looks uh looks pretty good. I wish the angles were a little bit better, but um it's not bad. And so I think we will probably reserve this front section for um commercial and then we can do like a small little residential neighborhood though we wouldn't want it to be too close to the ikea but uh, the ikea that we have in las vegas is literally in a in a residential area and so and there you go and so now we have a really nice little uh, grid pattern showing up here and i think we can even extend this guy out so if we come over here go like this and then connect this up because then I don't really want to connect that up either because this is our factory district. And so we got to be careful. This might end up becoming uh, like a, we'll do um, high density residential, but do a height band. So it'd be like uh, apartment buildings and stuff like that. And so now what I want to do is just jump in here and I'm going to do some uh, light landscaping. I'm just going to do some planters and stuff, something really easy. Yeah, there we go. So I ended up just doing those square little planters that I just recently got off the steam workshop and then put in some tall grass and that uh, purple flower bush. And then some red um, kind of flower bushes in here and then just a standard tree. I think it looks good. And then them all being the same makes it look real uniform. And so I think for these guys, we'll um, literally just do probably a straight plant or something easy. Yeah, there we go. I ended up doing these um, new planters as well. The tiny terraced planter and I did the wood ones, but it comes with the bench and a little piece of uh, concrete and then the couple flowers. It just looks really good. It's an easy way to do some nice decorating. And so... Uh, I think it looks good and so now it would be like a protected walkway but also maybe like a sitting area if you're waiting to get picked up or something like that. Um, a lot of times at Ikea's too you have covered solar panels that end up kind of powering the building and so I think we may play around with something like that. And so now what I would like to do right here is do some medium rise residential so or mid rise residential. So we'll come in here and we'll literally paint these in, but I'm going to do a high rise band. So we'll go like this and then let's jump in here now and go to policies and we will go to city planning and then let's go to high rise band. There you go. And now I think we need to do water real quick. Yeah, we do. All right. So we are unpaused and now we can kind of watch this all grow in. I kind of wish we had kept it unpaused over here. We had um, electrical problems. I hadn't connected this back up. Remember we had the power line going up over here. And so what I would like to do is start working on our terrace a little bit. So I want to do something similar to what we have going on over here where we have this road going down. I think it would just be really cool if we could capture something like that over here. I think um, if we could have some nice sloping roads go down, it would just look really cool, especially once we get the buildings in. And so I think we'll start off right here. Let's go ahead and grab a road. And actually, let's do the slope first. So we're going to come in here and we are going to go to slope terrain. We're going to increase the brush, brush size. Not a lot, but we're going to right click at the bottom and we're going to go like this. You know what? What I'm hoping is that we will be able to do the same thing here. I don't see why we won't be able to, but we'll kind of see. I'm going to turn off that guy so we can see as well. And we'll come down here and then now we should be able to just go like this. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a key wall down here. I think we will bring back this terrain as well, especially since that's a commercial area up there. Maybe we'll just keep that as a commercial area and we'll leave this like this. I think this could look good. And so I'm just going to do a key wall all the way around. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And so now I think what we're going to do is just come in here and um, do surface painter around this top side just to kind of clean it up. I think um, whenever you do surface painter like this, it really helps to clean up that edge, especially with these uh, with these key walls. And then we will do surface painter right here as well and then have this go up here. And then I don't know if we're going to do a big key wall along here. I think it may be too big. I'm kind of thinking that if we do one, it's not going to really fit in with uh, with this whole surrounding just because this cliff is so big. But go ahead and let me know what you guys think. Um, I think for right now, maybe we'll do just the key walls like this and then we will um, 
always we can always come back to it. Yeah, there we go. And so I think this actually looks pretty good. It's a it's a nice clean trans transition, and then it allows us to do just some small planters around the outside. And so I think we'll actually um so we have a tram road that actually ends right here. I think we can go ahead and use the picker mod and grab this road and go over here. And it does kind of suck we lose that little bit of bike road, but if we come all the way around. It's going to allow us to do some stops up here next to this commercial area, which I think is just going to be fantastic. I don't know if we need a, a six lane road, but it makes it so that this road becomes more of a major arterial, which is really going to help us out. We kind of lose a little bit of that look. Yeah, there you go. Because then we can kind of keep that bridge piece. And then I think we'll uh, keep this one a six lane once we get over here. I think it's going to be really good for the area. And then do we have power over here? Yeah. Uh, oh, we disconnected it. Yeah, there we go. And so now the idea is for us to be able to grab this road, and basically just follow this outside and give us enough room to do at least one, um, one full set of housing on the side. And so we'll come up here and we'll end like right there. And then we'll probably just have that loop around, but then, um, we could actually do so maybe if we turn this down, we could actually get zoning on both sides. I just would prefer the, the key wall not to be right where the houses are. I don't feel like that would be great, but we can always um, bring this back to, so let's go ahead and see, let's um, draw this down now. So if we come, oh man, we're, we're definitely going to have to adjust this water level because that's just not great for us to be flooding this much. It's got to be just because of the slope. Yeah, the slope's just hurting us. It kind of sucks. It puts that back section so low. But yeah, so I think what we'll do is we will come down here and we'll do a road down. Yeah, there we go. And then um, this actually allows us to do maybe one more row too. I was initially only wanting to do one row, but I guess this would allow us to get a little more residential in here, which could actually be really good for us. We go like right there and then let's go ahead and go to a straight piece, turn off snapping. Go like this, and then what we can do is do another slope down right here. So let's go ahead and grab our landscaping tool. Go like right here, and then have this go down. It's actually a little too big, but we will come back and fix it. So then we can come down here, and then let's come back into our landscape tool, and then bring this guy back. Yeah, there we go. But I want to keep a little bit of zoning right on the edge because I feel like that's really the huge benefit of this because you end up getting some really nice zoning. So I think if we go like right there and then we have it kind of curve in because then we have quite a bit of, of zoning right on the edge. But then we also have zoning on the inside, which would be great. And so let's go ahead and do a connector road in here, too, because I don't want to kind of strand people in there. I think that would be really bad, especially this area is already a kind of a cul-de-sac back here. And so we got to be careful with what we put back here. And so I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and put in another key wall here and kind of see how it looks. Yeah, there we go. I think this looks pretty good. And so now let's do um, some services right in here. So let's do fire, medical and police. And then let's go ahead and figure out a spot for an elementary school. I think right back here would actually be good. So let's um, put an elementary right there and then let's go ahead and put in a high school back here. Okay, so I think we will switch these around. Maybe we'll go ahead and go like that and then let's push this over and then let's see if we can put the high school, you know, let's put the elementary school right there. Maybe we'll put the elementary school right there and then let's see if we can put the high school right here. Just because I want to be able to put a park next to that. I didn't really feel like it looked okay back there. I would prefer to uh, get something nice in here. Yeah, like that. That just looks so much better. And so now let's um, finish up the pass for this and then we can kind of zone this in and see how it looks and then make any adjustments as needed. So we'll go like that, go like that. And then I think we will go like this, go like this. And then I think these look pretty good. I think we'll do a, a small bit of commercial in here. So let's go like this. And I think we will leave that one empty since it's on this little cul-de-sac. Yeah, there we go. I uh, actually really like that. And so now let's um, come in here and we are going to do our residential zoning. And I think we're going to turn this into uh, self-sufficient so that we can get some nice buildings going on in here. Yeah, there we go. So I ended up connecting this up and then I zoned it all in and then did um, 
self-sufficient building so that we could get some really nice houses coming in here because I think it's going to look really, really cool if we uh, get this whole hillside going self-sufficient. And so now I just want to kind of fill these in, fill in the spaces, not get crazy with it, but I'm um, just kind of clean it up a little bit. And then now let's see uh, what comes in. Hey, there you go. Megalopolis. Wow, I didn't really didn't think we were going to be hitting that today, but um, yeah, looks like we just hit 75,000, especially with that new residential. And so we have now hit all achievements and we've unlocked our last square, which now we can use 81 tiles and just unlock everything. We've got monuments and now the rest of the airports, which I don't know if we're going to be using those anymore now that the airports DLC is out. But uh, that's kind of funny, man. I had really lost track of that. I completely forgot that we, we've, we've been really close for a while. And so it's nice. We uh, hit the last achievement. And so I decided to um, take off the concrete back here and and uh, just kind of do some trees. I felt like the concrete looked a little weird. And I think it would be a really weird place to have like a plaza or something. And so I decided to just uh, kind of fill this in. And then I think what we're going to do is just come down here and just copy these around to um, finish the look. I think it's going to look pretty good. Yeah, so I, I technically can't place these farther than the road. I'd kind of forgotten um, without uh, making this a park. We're kind of having some issues. And it's so funny. It looks like our, um, our fence is in the road. So I'm actually going to have to go and delete that and replace this real quick. All right, so our new area is growing in. It does look like we have um, some more demand for commer for industrial, and so we're going to have to figure out like a small industrial area. I think right here would be really cool, like do maybe a fishing port or something like that. It's a little upstream from the ocean, but I have definitely seen ports far away. I'm thinking like Sacramento. The port there is uh, pretty far away from the ocean, and so we're doing pretty good. It does look like our industrial demand is creeping up, and so we definitely need to figure out a place to do like an industrial zone right here. Um, but I think we did a lot on this episode. I, I really like this area and we still left some buffer room for us to be able to expand our industrial area or, or our um, our factory district. It does look like we're having some issues with our crops over here. Where is our crop silo? Oh, there you go. And so let's actually place that guy on fill because if we're not able to fill this up, this could be a, a big problem for us. Um, it does look like there's a call out right now, but... Uh, yeah, we need that to stay full if we're going to be making money. That's probably why our money keeps jumping up and down. We keep going to like plus 40,000 to like minus 40,000. Like right now we're minus 38,000. Um, but I think this looks good. I think we're going to end up expanding out some more high density uh, residential over here. We're going to do the high rise band though. All right. And so I think that's going to be it. We did a lot on this episode. And so the idea is for us to basically copy this key wall technique all the way down. And I think it's going to be really nice with us having these swoop downs. Um... I don't want it to just be one for each level though. So I think for this next one, we'll have this one, but then we'll do one over here as well. And then I think for the bottom one, we'll have one going this way and then one going that way, just because I really don't want to get cornered in here. Having that access is super important. And um, this whole area is definitely going to be prone to traffic. And that's why we really only did that small amount of commercial down here. Um, we want to be careful not to get people jammed in here because this will be really hard for us to fix. And so... Um, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're interested in checking out a, a video where we build out this downtown, go ahead and check out the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I super appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next episode.